Hello everyone, today I'm going to be taking you to San Francisco's Japantown. It's one of my favorite places and I haven't gone there in a while so I thought it would be really fun to check out today. I'm going to be taking you to Ben Kyoto which is my favorite manju shop and let's see what other kind of goodies we can find there so let's head over there now. I just got here to Japantown, San Francisco, and I picked up my mochi from Ben Kyoto. I just stopped by Uji Time for the red bean taiyaki filled with matcha ice cream, so let's give this a taste. I can't wait because I love taiyaki ice cream. Oh, I love their matcha ice cream. It is so soft and rich and creamy, and it has a really good matcha flavor. It is incredibly strong. It almost tastes like matcha tea, but in ice cream form. It's, it's really good quality tea as well. This is really delicious if you like matcha. Now that I demolished some of this ice cream, let's go ahead and try our taiyaki waffle that's filled with red bean. Wow, I love their taiyaki waffle. It is sweet, it's fluffy, and I love the strong vanilla flavor. And I love the addition of the smooth red bean that goes great with that matcha ice cream. This is really delicious. Definitely come here and try this. While I was here in Japantown, I just had a stop by Cafe Miko. I love their ice cream and their matcha drinks are delicious as well. So I'm going to be trying their iced matcha latte. Let's give it a taste. Oh, that is wonderful. It is a perfect balance of creaminess, sweetness, and bitterness from the matcha. And I love how their tea is extremely high quality. I just love their tea and this is a must try. Before heading home, I made a quick stop at Yasukoshi Sweet Shop for the crunch cake. So let's head home now. I just got back from Japantown, and the first thing I'm going to be trying is the mochi that I got from Ben Kyoto. Ben Kyoto opened in 1906, and since then, it's been solely operated by the family, and they've only closed once during World War II. It is the only manju shop open in San Francisco. There used to be four, but over the years, they slowly closed down. The other day, I was talking to the owner over the phone, and unfortunately, they're also planning to shut down in the next year or so, so I decided today I had to stop by there to get some of their mochi because it is so delicious. Unfortunately, Ben Kyoto will be shutting down in the next year or so because the owners are planning on retiring and they don't have anyone that wants to take over the shop. Ben Kyoto is known for their fresh fruit mochi. I'm going to start by trying their blueberry mochi. This is a mochi outer layer filled with fresh blueberries and lima bean filling. So let's give this a taste. I can't wait. Wow, that is so good. It's even better than I remember it. The outer mochi is so soft, it literally melts in your mouth. And I love the inner lima bean. It's very light and sweet. 
and it also just melts in your mouth and the texture is just really nice. It's incredibly smooth. It's not chunky at all. And the blueberries, by the way, are really fresh. And I love how they're soaked in sugar syrup, so they're nice and sweet. You'll just love this. This is like fresh blueberry amazingness. Next, I'm gonna be trying their hobby tie, which is a plain outer mochi layer filled with red bean paste. And I love red bean mochi. This is gonna be delicious. For sure, this is the best manju you will ever try in your entire life. The mochi, again, is perfectly sweet and it literally melts in your mouth along with the red beans. Usually I find that the red beans are a little bit chunkier than white beans, but not in this case. Perfectly smooth. I can't believe how smooth it is. It is so delicate and delicious. And by the way, it's just really good quality as well. A must try. Now I'm gonna try their mango mochi and I've never ever had this before. And I just love mango. And this smells really good, and their other mochi was just delicious as well. So I think this is just gonna be heaven. I might even die, it's so good. What really sets this apart from the other mochi is the mochi itself is flavored with fresh mangoes on the outer layer, which they didn't do with the other ones. And again, the inner lima bean filling is delicious, and I love the chunks of sweet and tangy mango on the inside. Like, this is just heaven! I mean, seriously, this is the best mochi I've ever ate in my entire life. The last mochi I'm going to be trying is the Yamogi. The outside is made with mugwort and it is one of my favorite mochis. And it's also filled with red beans. So let's give this a taste. The emoji is delicious as well. What I love is it's super pretty because the outside is very green from the mugwort. However, you don't really taste it. But again, the red bean filling is on point. Overall, I'm really impressed with the mochi from Ben Kyoto. And like I said, you gotta hurry over there before they close up shop because they're not gonna be open for much longer. Maybe just the rest of this year, but it's really worth going out of your way to San Francisco just to get Ben Kyoto's mochi. It's that good. Now I'm gonna be trying the last thing that I got from Japantown. This is the Toffee Crunch Cake from Yasukochi Sweet Stop. This smells really sweet, and I just smell an intense scent of toffee. So let's see how this is. This looks really sweet, but I think this'll be decadent and delicious. Wow, this is so delicious. I thought it would be really sweet, but it's actually not. It's pretty delicious. I love the outside candies. They're really crunchy. They have a strong brown sugary toffee flavor. It almost reminds me of honeycomb candy but in a toffee version. Today was a really fun day exploring Japantown San Francisco. You definitely have to head there. They have so many delicious sweets and treats. My favorite thing that I had today was all of the mochi from Ben Kyoto so make sure to check them out because they're not going to be around much longer. And like I said I would literally go to San Francisco just for that and I live an hour away. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure if you did to give it a like and also make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.